Welcome to an exciting video on WordPress and Ultimatum Framework. Ultimatum is a very exciting framework that is used in WordPress. My name is Robert. I'm going to share with you my techniques of how to use WordPress with the Ultimatum Framework. Now, if you're a fan of my previous training courses, you'll understand that what I do is I get you to think the way the software thinks. So unlike other training videos you might see online where they confuse you with a lot of mumbo jumbo, I go right to the source and get you involved in the thinking process. Now, Ultimatum is slightly different than anything you've seen before. It's strictly drop and drag. You don't have to write code. You don't have to know code. You can, if you use a mouse and point your mouse and click, you're home free. So let's get started. Now, I've already installed the Ultimatum WordPress framework theme on my site. Now, if you register for my course, at the end of this video, I'll have a special offer for a coupon that you can watch my A to Z video series on Udemy.com for a low flat rate, plus you'll get free WordPress hosting. And included is a couple of goodies. So uh, stay tuned after this video is done. Okay, so first thing I need to do here, if I go to the page itself, you'll notice if I simply just go to my WordPress page, you'll see I have nothing here. So that's how the Ultimate and Framework starts out with a blank page. Unlike other themes where it gives you kind of starter information, this does not. Now, there's pros and cons to that. The advantage of this, this will get you in the habit of thinking the way the software thinks. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take the name of my site here. I'm just going to copy that and make a separate window. Okay. Now, this is a good habit to get into working with WordPress. This way, I can toggle between my actual site and the back and admin. I don't have to keep going back and forth. This is a good production technique. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do here is show you how simple it is to insert some slideshows. Now, this ultimatum theme comes with many, many slideshows built in that you can simply use. It's so simple. I'm going to explain this very simply to you. So what I need to do is click slideshows. Then, based on these choices, what do you want to call your slideshow? You can have many slideshows in your WordPress website using the ultimatum framework. We're simply going to call this main slide. And I'm going to hit create over here to the right. Okay, next it's going to say let's upload some files. Okay, so I've simply navigated to some files here. Now, these files are 955 wide by 275 high. The advantage of this framework, you can basically create any file format you want as far as width and height goes. These are JPEG files. I'm just going to select 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and hit open. Okay, now what I need to do is start the process of uploading. So I come down here and I hit start all. It's going to take a second to do this. Now, I did notice a slight little glitch in this framework. Now, there's going to be updates coming to the framework, but basically what happened here is it basically did not upload this file here for whatever reason. Sometimes it skips the first slide. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to manually go and upload the file again. And start. So there, okay. Now, this is my first slide. So I want my first slide to appear up on top. So I simply drag it to the top. It's really that simple. Now, what I want to share with you, which is really cool here, is you can have different types of slides. Nevo slide, there's, there's a bunch of them, okay? Now, what we're going to do here is I'm going to put information for this particular slide. Okay, so what I've done here to save some time, I simply just put in the names of my different courses that I'm offering for my slideshow. Now, in addition to that, I could put the title of the slide. I could put the link to the slide. And if I want to, depending on the type of slide that I pick, I can actually play video. So this is very, very cool stuff here. So I'm simply going to save that. Okay, now, very important to understand this. All I did was simply create a slide show. 
okay? But if I go back to my site again and I refresh it, there is no slideshow, okay? Because I haven't set it up in the format. I haven't gone to the ultimatum template and inserted that slideshow. So I'm going to show you how simple this is to do. So I'm going to go to ultimatum, okay? Then based on these choices here, we're going to go to templates. Now, this is a template based theme. Okay, it's very simple, it's responsive. You can set up a regular theme 960 or whatever size you want, responsive or responsive or a theme for mobile web apps. Now, in this particular case, I already have a 960 grid, and this is right out of the box. This is already installed for you, but it's not going to show up on your page until you do a few things. That's what I'm about to share with you. So, what I need to do from here is select layouts. Okay, now. I already have a layout by default. If I wanted to put other stuff inside my layout, I can create multiple layouts, either full page layouts or partial layouts. And I'll talk about the partial layout in just a second. Okay, so based on these choices, I'm going to say ultimatum theme, edit the theme. Okay, now this is my basic bread and butter theme that ships with the program. Now, if this is my theme, this could be moved up and down. I can choose to delete, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But what I want to share with you right now, again, if I refresh the page, you're not going to see anything. Because even though I have a layout for my theme, I have no content. So some of the content we're going to create right now is the content for the slideshow that we created. So I'm going to go over here to the right, and based on these choices, ultimatum slideshow. I'm going to drag that right there. Now, of course, I can name my slideshow. In this particular case, I'm going to choose not to name this to the slideshow. Now, what I want to do is have this match the height of my slides, which is 275 pixels high. So I'm going to type in 275. Everything else here I will leave by default. The only exception here for the theme, I'm going to change to an orange theme. Okay. Now, in addition to that, I can have all these different slides that are built into the program slide deck, anything slide deck, anything, I'm sorry, slideshow, accordion, supersized, etc., etc. This is very cool stuff built into the program. No extra stuff to purchase. It comes built with ultimatum framework. So what I'm going to do now is save. Then I need to come to the top here and save that particular layout. Now I just want to share something with you, okay? This is going to come up blank. This is going to come up blank. The only thing that has content right now is Ultimatum Slideshow. So watch this. If I now go to my page and I refresh that, okay, how cool is that? There's my slideshow. It took two seconds to put in there and it automatically goes through the slides. Now, one of the things I want to share with you, because the type of slide that I picked that had a title associated to it, even though I made my slide 275 pixels high, but I didn't need leave enough room for the title. So how can we fix that? Well, let's go back to the admin section. Okay, let's go back to ultimatum slide. And for the height, let's put an additional 25 pixels. So let's make that 300 pixels. Let's come down here and save it. Let's scroll back up and save the layout. Now, depending on what you're doing, I just want to share something with you. Depending on what you're doing, saving the layout is not necessary, but it's a good habit to get into. So always save the layout in case, depending on who built the theme and the program developed it, sometimes this is optional, but get in the habit of saving it anyway. It'll be way ahead of the game. So if I click here again, and I refresh the page, you'll see I now have room for my course. Now, since I have this going to a particular page, I can now click on this and go to that particular page, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So very cool stuff happening right now. So here back at my page again, and the only thing this page has on it is the name of the site, etc 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 this is in the title settings of my page and this is going to automatically play through now if i click on here that's going to take me to the coupon that i set up for that particular slide and if i back 
and I go here to say this third coupon and I say oh that sounds like a good deal 61% off I click on that boom it takes me right to the site or right to the slide that you want it to go to so it's very very intuitive now what I want to share with you is how I can change that to a different slide okay I've switched browsers so now I'm inside of Safari just so you can see it basically looks the same so here's my site here's my admin section again good habit to get into is to have different windows so you don't have to keep going back and refreshing the screen. I can just go here to see the site. I can click here to go to the admin section. So again, I'm going to click right here and I'm going to share with you how simple it is to change slides. So I'm going to pick the slider called Slide Deck. Slide Deck, save, and save layout. Now again, because I filled in those different options in my slider setup in the beginning, not all sliders that I use benefit from all the options in this original slide setup. So if I click here and I hit the refresh key, now I get a totally different type of slide. Okay, so I get more information that I can read. So if I click here, that's going to take me to the coupon for that particular or whatever offer I'm offering. If I click here, it goes here, etc, etc. Now, in order to benefit from this layout, you'd probably want to make a different type of slide here because this is going to show you that information based on the settings that we set up here. So let's go back to the admin section again and let's pick a different slideshow. Okay, so let's pick a flex slider responsive and hit save. And again, this is in milliseconds, so you can change the speed. So this would represent seven seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds. There's 1,000 milliseconds inside of a second. Okay, so if I save that and come back up here to save the layout and I go to my page and I refresh the page, I will have a different slider. This is actually one of my favorite sliders, by the way. So this gives you the sliding handles on the right and the left that I can basically toggle and go to. Plus, I can put the stuff here. Now, this is important because this is search engine friendly. This is going to get picked up in a search engine. This is a graphic, so this is not going to be picked up in a search engine. So I just want to share with you that this is just a tidbit of my full in-depth A through Z training that you get when you go to my website. So. I'm going to provide a link on the bottom that you can get this full A to Z course, which is normally roughly 90 bucks for $39. So I'll have a link at the bottom and it includes free web hosting with your WordPress setup and framework already installed. So I have this offer. I also have offers for Dreamweaver Fluid Grid, which is a $129 course you can get for $49. I'll include that in the bottom of the link as well. Okay, responsive web design with Twitter Bootstrap, it's normally $49. YouTubers can have it for $19. In addition to that, I have Adobe Edge Animation. And again, I share my time-tested techniques with you guys, the same techniques I've been using since 1987, 25 years to build professional Adobe documents. Okay. I also have my Adobe Illustrator class, which is normally 50 bucks. You can now get for $29. And again, I will include these links in the bottom of the video. So thank you for your time. Please comment. Please subscribe. Uh, share that my information with other people. Have a good day. Carpe diem.